Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, it's Beatrice and Pardet and Frankie Two Socks with your morning beach walk. No sunrise today, it's going to be uh, happening behind the drink in the sky. See you guys on the beach. Come, Pardet. Boardwalk at the tidal channel. That is pretty low at the moment. The wind also wants this to be the estuary mouth. Look at how it has been digging out the basin behind the walking sand dune. The famous walking sand, sand dune of St. Lucia estuary. Let's just do a gully update for you guys. This is um, about what is it 700 800 meters south of Ingwe beach entrance or if you want it just north of the boardwalk entrance beautiful gully to fish for salmon and grunter low or high tide and then further north it's long flat beaches long sandbars to cast over I don't know north of the main beach, but up until the main beach, I don't think it's fishable on low tide. High tide, there will be probably a, a lovely side wash. Any shade coming out now? Yet, no. People fishing for granter, not yet. Salmon coming out, yes. Okay, let's go and have a look at the history mouth, what's happening there. Beautiful, beautiful sunrise. I don't see any sharks in the water today. Although the channel is very, very nice for it to hunt, maybe I just haven't observed it yet. We'll have a look. Note to self, please check on Google if a crayfish does mold or not. Why is there so many crayfish tails some days here on the beach? Just the shelves, no meat inside. Who had the privilege? Some yellow bull stalk, woolly neck stalks at the estuary mouth. Beautiful sighting. A lot of sediment build up here in the history map. A lot of, lot of sediment build up. That comes with the south southerly winds. Huge sandbank building up in front of the history map. That is shallow enough to walk through. Stretching all the way to the south. Jij is prachtig man. 
Ja, ist mooi, ja. So nature gave us a brief breach over there just to show us the downfalls of a delta mouth system. We saw the amount of sediment that came in there. I'm humbled to be able to record it. Because the GEF 5 project is a failure and it seems that it was only planned and in the face of all the evidence that was available at ResearchGate and other platforms they still planned this failure and it was purely done to staff people out that has got the right to harvest the protein they stunt at least three generations of youngsters by starving them from protein 600,000 people communities 600,000 people from the communities that was promised they can harvest the St. Lucia estuary and lake system have been starved now for three generations from protein. I hope the people that made this decision not to manage the sediment in the estuary and lake system are now proud of yourself because the project was a failure in 43, 1943 and it will be a failure in the future guys sediment has to be managed yes, I promised you guys I'm returning on the southern dune walk so you can see what it is about let's go the G5 project under the management of Andrew Zulumas removed the man-made sand dune that was placed over there on the far side of the the wind funnel to create a man-made dam wall over here and this sand is now fast encroaching on the estuary basin that the G5 project promised us would be created by the, <laughs> this uh, man-made sand wall and now the GIF 5 project is finished, over and done with. The responsible scientists got paid. And our ch children are sitting with a dying estuary system. And we've got scientists blocking the minister from making the right decisions to remove the sediment out of the estuary basin. So it can f be a safe haven for juvenile fish for South Africa coastline of almost three and a half thousand kilometers is dependent on this estuary functioning 600,000 people has got harvesting rights on this system and we're starving both the ocean and the people's rights for what I cannot find the logical reason behind it do you guys think I'm saying the logical reason no guys even though these guys fish with gill nets which is illegal they cannot span a whole basin they cannot span the whole basin and if we controlled the fishing licenses like we should they wouldn't have been using gill nets if the scientists didn't introduce them to gill nets these communities wouldn't know what a gill net is now these gill nets are for sale at the 1600 rand for 200 meters on Facebook marketplace.
beautiful flowers and the bird life is exquisite we saw Willie next talk on the beach there's a lot of bee eaters yellow bull stalk goliath herons um, palm nut vultures fish eagles that you can find here on the southern dune walk going back north towards the boardwalk the reason why we stay on a path is so that we don't disturb the plovers that breed amongst the dunes there's various species breeding amongst the dunes and food traffic is often more damaging than vehicle traffic so guys stay on a path so that the birds can know where it's safe to nest if you don't see them bad luck don't go and disturb them this is not a Disneyland this is the real wildlife it's the outdoors where we have to respect nature and give it the time to uh, flourish and breed be happy we are on the way back where we came from during the summer these creepers has got the most beautiful flowers view where we direction we're going for that like reading all the sms's that's left here by the other critters <laughs> before lockdown when we started the southern dune walk that dune wasn't there it's a sediment encroachment into the estuary basin the wind born sediment encroaching the estuary basin the, the southern dune walk appears again going all the way north and sadly when they removed the casarina trees they closed the southern dune walk with the casarina trees but Frankie Two Socks has got a plan we'll address the problem soon then you can embark at the foot of the sand dunes or on top of the sand dunes just as you please the casarina trees that was after growth I was one of the people putting pressure on the Simanglisa Wetland Park Authority to remove them because it's unnatural but the reason why I wanted it to remove, be removed is so that the impact of this <laughs> the southern encroachment of the wind-borne sediment can be experienced in one lifetime so the scientists can't be hide behind <laughs> lies anymore Guys, you need to be exposed. You need to be exposed. You can't have hide behind aftergrowth and not face the problems. The problems need to be addressed. Aftergrowth of the Caserina trees that was removed. The alien plants, they not supposed to be here. But they do act all along the coasts of the world as wind barriers preventing the wind shoots of encroaching into valuable habit habitats is the wind shoots natural yes it's the sediment that the wind blow into these natural habitats natural not necessary and that's when you start manage it with plants like the Caserina trees 300 years ago the people already knew about wind shoots sediment encroachment wind-borne sediment, ocean-borne sediment and river-borne sediment today the social ninja keyboard warriors have got no idea about it they've got all the research tools at their fingertips and they've got no idea what, what it is and what damage it does to the environment going down here this battery is not charged how did that happen previous one is flat we'll might just make it back to the mindra